All right, students, here we are. Uh, we're going to take a look at the modeling data, the eight point, the module eight, section 8.2. And this is the ready, set, go activities. Uh, I want to sort of walk you through some of them so we sort of see what's going on. Um, sorry, if I try and figure out what, what are they asking for. Okay, so here we go. Um, taking a look. It says in problems one to four, select the best answer based on given data. Below your choose an answer as a confidence scale. Okay. So what they want us to do, sort of, and let's see if we can get this looking a little bit better. There we go. Zoom in here. What it's going to sort of do is go back to other chapters, okay? So usually data is, like, if we're talking test scores, it's all over the place. But in some cases, this sort of data, you might notice a pattern. This goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And it's been a while since we did this, but hopefully you recognize that there is a doubling going on each time. Okay, so basically it's going times two each time. Okay, there we go. That's a little more clear. So it's going times two each time. Times two, times two, times two, times two. So if we continued, it should be exactly 64. All right. Um, how sur sure am I? Me, I'm certain I'm correct because um, because it's doubling. So if it says, what about the data made you answer the mark? Um, it's doubling. That's what's clearly going on. I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm writing on this paper, but for your work, I'm going to ask you not to. So thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Uh, what else? Take a look at this one. What the heck is going on here? It jumps from 47 to 13, but negative. Then to negative 8, then to positive 9, then negative 23, then positive 14. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all over the place. Okay, and that's sort of what they want you to look at. Can you tell anything about this? Well, not really. It's not following a set pattern from, from number to number. Yeah, it's just not. So, um, the next number line will be, hmm, I don't know if it's going to be negative or positive, because it's going positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. Then it's not going every other, because it's, it's got two negatives in a row here, but then not. So I, don't, I can't really tell if it's positive or negative. Um, I'm going to guess it's less than 100, though, Okay, given that all of these numbers are less than 100. All right. Am I certain? No. It really, on these ones, uh, it's just sort of an exercise. So um, if you put that you're certain and someone else put that they're unsure, that's up to you. Is, there's not really a wrong answer for that. Maybe you're certain, maybe you're unsure. It doesn't really. It's sort of up to you. Okay, um, so that's what that is. And so that's what we're sort of looking at for these. Uh, I'll let, leave the other two for you to finish. Just sort of, do you see a pattern? Do you not see a pattern? Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Um, things like that. It might not be ordinary data, just, you know, do, do what you can with it. Okay, so that being said, let's move to the next page of 8.2 so I can help you out with that. And this is... Just more practice with a frequency table and stuff like that. And drawing a histogram. So a histogram, uh, we did this in 8.1, but let's talk about it a little bit more here. Um, what it is is uh, we want to use all the data, and we got numbers here all over the place. I can't really tell anything looking at these numbers other than they all look like they're about 10 or less. Other than that, I can't really tell where most of the numbers are. I see a couple nines in here. Nine happens a lot, but eight happens a lot. There's several fives. I honestly can't tell. So what we do is we go through here and say, how many scores were between zero and one? Okay. And I'm going to go through, and as I do, I'm going to cancel, cross them off. There's one, there's two, there's only two there. All right. Uh, frequency table. Okay. Uh, next. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this... this uh, the histogram thing is very much like 8.1. So if you if 8.1 made sense, you can just jump past this part uh, to the next problems where we get to the last problems of the ready, set, go. So you can just jump jump forward a few minutes. That's the great thing about these videos. You can just jump to any part you need. Okay, here we go. Uh, two to three. There's twos and threes. I don't see any twos here. I don't see any twos here. I don't see any twos here. That makes sense zero. Okay, so that makes it a little easier. Uh, we'll go through the rest of this the same way, but what you want to do is Zero to one, there were two of them. So what I do is on my graph, from zero to one, there's one, two. Shade that in. Uh, from two to three, there's zero. 
and so on and so on. So just graph them like that. All right. Uh, so that's what that is. Um, and just go on from there and count up how many fours and fives there are and put a bar there representing how many there are. So that's sort of it. Okay, so I'll leave the rest of those for you to finish up. And let's take a look. Here we go. This part, a lot of people I'm sure are going to have questions about. Um, percentages, this is probably one of the most useful things that we're going to do. So here's what it is. It's just a word problem, and there's actually really not that much to it. What percent, I don't know, let's call it X. Of means times in math. Anytime you see of is multiplication. 97 is 11. What percent of 97 is 11? In other words, what times 97 equals 11? That's really what they're asking. Okay. So x times 97 equals 11. If we divide both sides by 97, those cancel. And you get 11 over 97. Or let's take out the calculator. Let's take a hold on one second. I'll grab the calculator. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to put it so you can see it. Um, 11 over 97. That's 0 0.1134. So we'll put a little squiggly. That means approximate and 0 0.11. Now, that is 0 0.11. To change that into a percentage, though, we move it two places. So it's 11%. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go. In. They're pro all pretty much the same, but sometimes the order is a little bit different. So, like for example, let's take a look at number thirteen. Uh, what? That's x. Is means equals eighty-four percent. Now, here's where you got to be careful. As a percent, it looks like this. As a decimal, it looks like this. So, eighty-four percent looks like 0.84. Of twenty-five means of means multiply twenty-five. So really just saying 84% of 25 is 0.84 times 25. There's really not much to percentages. Once you know the only, there's no, really, there's, there's not much. So once you know the way to set them up, they're all very much similar. And on the calculator, I did that, and I got 21. So there you go. Um, and that's it. So try the rest of them out. Try and re remember that is means equals. Uh, of is multiplying, but a dot for multiplication. Uh, let's rewrite this. Is means equals, of means, <laughs> means multiply. Anyways, uh, this is getting too messy. All right, well, anyways. Is means equal, of means multiply. And the final thing is if you have like 88%, that's 0.88. Oh, there it is. Or if you have like 0.75, that's the same as 75%. So you want to be comfortable going backwards and forwards from dec percents to decimals, decimals to percents. Okay, that's pretty much it. We went a little bit longer for this one, but thanks for sticking around and watching till the end. Have a great afternoon, and I'll see you in class.